generation is defined as generating electricity using magnetism. In ge generally, in the appearance, an induction stove looks more similar to the ceramics stove. Usually, they have a distinct zone where you can place a cooking utensil to cook food. Inside each cooking zone, there is a coil of metal. When the power is turned on, an alternating current flows, follow, uh, flows through the coil and produces an invisible electromagnetic field above, below, and all around it. Speaking of electromagnets, electromagnet is a coil of wire wrapped around a small piece of magnetic, alum, met magnetic metal from which the electricity passes through. When the electricity passes through the wire, it produces a magnetic field around the wire. This is commonly known as solenoid. Just like magnetic field around the permanent magnet, le electromagnet ha carries its own polar orientation. The orientation can be determined by using the right hand rule. Furthermore, iron is a ferromagnet. It means it that the magnetic field can induce temporary charges on it. Back to the discussion, magnetic field produced by the coil by the coil moves through the iron. Which, present, uh, which is present at the bottom of the pot. It then causes the small electric current to be set at the bottom of the pan, where iron is located. As the current travels through the iron, molecules in the pot offer resistance to the current, which results in the heat of the pot. That's why cook, it cooks food. Going back to our first slide, it is necessary that all models of in, uh, in induction cook pots must be made of contained a ferromagnetic metal such as cast iron or stainless steel. Metals such as copper are, are good conductors and allow free movement of electrons. Thus why it would be it would pose less resistance than iron and resultantly would not cook food.